Prime Minister Kevin Rudd was mobbed by asylum seeker advocates as he went to cast his ballot in St Paul's Anglican Church in East Brisbane. Shame! It wasn't the only hiccup in an often chaotic five-week campaign. Polling officials initially wouldn't allow media to film the voting because they hadn't been alerted to the fact they'd be there. That's fine, but I want the cameras out. Eleventh hour emergency talks prevailed, but the heckles continued inside the polling station. Stop scapegoating refugees! The Prime Minister again acknowledged that Labor had made mistakes over the last few years. I know the government hasn't been perfect. We've got stacks of things wrong. That's in the nature of uh, political and governmental life. It wasn't all smooth sailing on polling day for opposition leader Tony Abbott either. He voted at his local life-saving club and was later heckled by protesters in East Sydney. Refugees are welcome! Abbott is not! He's quietly confident of victory. The electorate, uh, I think, is uh, uh, wanting to change, but there are a lot of distractions out there. A lot of minor parties and independents running. Greens leader Christine Milne voted in Hobart, where she gave her team the thumbs up. People are saying yes to the Greens, yes to be a break on an Abbott government. Liberal frontbencher Joe Hockey urged voters not to return another hung parliament. Having minority interests is not going to serve Australia well. We've got to have a strong, decisive result today. In the bellwether seat of Eden Monero, Labor MP and former Colonel Mike Kelly took a philosophical approach to polling day. Often people ask me, you know, how do you cope with the stress and the pressures and all the rest of it, but uh, it's better than my last job, but no one's trying to kill me, so. <laughs> He's up against former head of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Peter Hendy. If the seat stays true to form, whichever party wins this seat will form government. More than three million Australians cast their ballots before polling day itself, a record turnout. There are over 8,000 polling stations across the country, but few are as busy or as unusual as the one here at Old Parliament House. Hundreds of voters crashed this wedding and the bride wasn't too impressed. By 5pm, more than 5,500 voters had cast their ballot in Old Parliament House, wanting to be part of history. But the hour-long wait was enough to drive some straight to the sausage sizzle queue. Carabar High in Queanbeyan had the second best barbecue in the country, according to a Facebook poll. Well, it's clearly the highlight of an election uh, campaign. I mean, it's a reason to be here. A culinary delight on a colourful polling day. Shalila Madura, World News Australia.